Today we'll be eating our way through Cabo San Lucas and I can't think of a better way to see a new city than a food tour, so let's do it. Today we are going on the original Juan Mortaco food tour. It's a three hour guided tour all over Cabo San Lucas. It costs about $80 per person, which is a little steep, but does include a lot of food and a lot of information. So I think it will be worth it, but let's go find out. The tour started at Mercado Gourmet Street Food, which was about a 15 minute walk from the Waldorf and just across the street from the marina. We met our guide Miguel, who wasted no time at all and immediately started telling us all about the history of Los Cabos. This is a food tour, but I include history mm -hmm. because all the food that we're going to have today has history. And then we started off with some chips and sopes. These are very similar to tacos, but a lot thicker, more like a corn cake. And over there, it has a refried beans. beans yeah. And then the slices of bell pepper that you peel. Right. Lettuce. Sour cream, yeah. cheese, yeah. onion, and a slice of tomato. Okay, awesome. The so tortilla is so thick. Very touristic. I studied this from my It tastes so fresh. Oh my goodness. So this is the chicken taco. Oh, it's got refried yeah, beans on it and, and on some it. lettuce yeah, and yeah. cheese. It looks yeah. delicious. And now there's so many. Oh, wow. Yeah, I prefer the chicken. That's so good. Oh my goodness. Including us, there were only six people on our tour. If you'd like to book it, it'll be linked in the description below. Well, we just had our first taco and it was incredible. Literally, the tortilla was so soft and the meat was delicious. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to some more hole in the wall places. I'm very excited. At our next stop, we learned about the different types of meat served in tacos throughout Mexico and were invited to pick whichever one we wanted. Got some horchata, and then I got the mole, and Will got the barbacoa. I am so excited, I'm gonna try this first. Mm. Kinda tastes like a chai latte, but ice. That's really good. Okay, now let's try the mole. It feels hot. Oh my goodness, you taste like the chocolate, all those mole spices. And this tortilla tastes so fresh. I don't know how I'm gonna have room for everything though because I'm kind of full already. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> okay, now let me try the barbacoa. Wow. It tastes like a really good beef stew in taco form, which sounds kind of weird, but it's delicious. Look at how juicy it is too. It's literally like coming out of the tortilla. Mm. That's amazing. Well, it's been an hour and we're ready. Three tacos in, four for me if you count the one I ate for Will. This is gonna be a lot of food. Stop number three was all about the quesadilla. A quesadilla is a combination of a quesadilla, which is just a taco with cheese, and birria, which in this case was made with barbacoa soaked in a delicious red chili consomme broth. Let's see how it is. So we're trying some quesadillas. It's like a birria taco with cheese. It is so hot, I can't even pick it up, but we, in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about the process. We saw her hand making tortillas, putting them on the grill, cooking them, then putting the cheese in the tortilla, melting the cheese, then opening it back up, putting the meat in. It seems so fresh and it's so homemade. I can't wait to try it. Wow. That is unbelievable. The meat is so tender. The tortilla is so crunchy. And that cheese is heavenly. Mm. Next up was Baja's famous fish tacos, where you could choose from fried shrimp, fried sea bass, or marlin. This is the fried fish taco. It's fried sea bass. And it's literally so much fish, I can't even get it around the taco. But let's try it. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's like the perfect batter to fish ratio. Crunchy, the inside is so flaky. Mm. I love a good fish taco. Being here, I'm literally in the mood for them every day. It's so good. This is the Marlin taco. It's local to here. 
and really unique. I've never heard of it before. Let's give it a try. That is so different. It's almost got like a smoky chili flavor. Wow. That is incredible. Four stops down, and now it's time for something sweet. I cannot wait to find out what it is. Well, our sweet treat was a paletta. We got these in San Jose del Cabo as well, and they are so good. I'm trying the coconut. It's nice and sweet and sugary and creamy. Amazing. And what a nice break from our little taco tour. I think we have more tacos coming but this is so nice and refreshing, especially walking around in the heat. Well, that was incredible. Now we're heading to get some Alpha store and then we're ending the tour with churros. Our last stop we learned about Al Pastor, where pork is cooked on a vertical spit. It's actually a cooking style brought to Mexico by Lebanese immigrants and has since become one of the most popular tacos in the US and Mexico. And if Al Pastor isn't your thing, they also offered us grilled shrimp and carne asada. So we are at our last stop and we are ending with a bang. We got one of each. We're trying the shrimp, the beef, and the El Pastor. Everything looks amazing. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of guac on the shrimp. It's interesting here, like every place has a salsa bar, so they don't really come like already made. So I'm struggling to know like what to put on it, but we'll try this. Wow, I think this might be one of my favorites. That's so good. The shrimp is so buttery and grilled perfectly. It's so nice and tender. Mm. It's funny, I guess our last stop is three more tacos. <laughs> Next up is the beef. I think I'm just gonna try it plain. That meat is so flavorful. Literally just on its own with nothing else on it. So incredible. Last but not least is this El Pastor. How amazing does that look? It has pineapple, salsa, cilantro. You know it's good when I could taste all the flavor before I even start chewing. That is absolutely unbelievable. The cold sweet pineapple on top of that hot and salty El Pastor is an amazing compliment. Mm. What a way to end. This is amazing. <laughs> so delicious. I ate a lot of tacos today. We had one last stop, churros and tequila. So we just got churros and chocolate and milk. I had the milk in San Jose del Cabo and that was our favorite. So I'm excited to see how this one stacks up. But first I'm gonna try chocolate. Wow. Mm. The churros are warm and crispy on the outside. Wow, those are so good. Now let's try the churro. A little churro. So good every time. That's amazing. After enjoying a couple churros, they walked us through the tequila basics and how it's different from other agave based spirits like mezcal and bacanora. And then it was time to try some. Salud. Salud. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> wow, that's really good. We had a Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, multiple extra Añejos. They were serving them so quickly, we pretty much lost track of which one we were on. Wow, that's really cinnamony. But we ended by dipping our churros in chocolate wow, liqueur. Wow, those were amazing. We just finished our taco tour and it was amazing. I am so full. The one thing I'd say is it's a great way to try the meats and the authentic ways of cooking them, but it's not like they thought out the whole flavor profile. It's really just the meat on the tortilla and then they invite you to go up to the salsa bar and you can put your own guacamole or salsa or pico de gallo on top. I honestly was a little lost when going up there because I wasn't sure like what would go with the marlin or what would go with the shrimp, but really great to see an authentic restaurant and an authentic way to eat a taco. Other than that, it was amazing. I loved Miguel. He was so knowledgeable. We learned so much. Also, if you want less tacos and to try other things like tamales or elotes, you could take the afternoon tour and they add some of those things on. Well, really hope you enjoyed tagging along. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. We have lots of other Cabo videos that you might enjoy and we will see you in the next one.